Hello friends, in this short video tutorial, we will learn how to install GCC or the GNU compiler collection on Windows 10 platform. One issue with the GCC is that it does not provide any executable binaries for the Windows 10 platform. We have to depend upon third party tools to get the executable file. Earlier, we used to have a port of GCC called as MinGW. It was aimed at the 32-bit platform. Now most windows are right now 64-bit. So we will be going for the 64-bit version. For that purpose, the code base has been forked to create a new project which is called as MinGW W64. Now this is aimed at the 64-bit platform. So we will be using that for our Windows 10 platform. Now you can download the code, you can go to the website from here. Now, MinGW does not provide any binaries. Instead, it maintains a collection of packages from other vendors. Now, you can check it from here by going to the download section. Now, we have option for the Linux as well as the Mac and, else, and as well as for the Windows version. Now, we will be using the MSYS2, this one. For installing on our windows you can download it from their github all the relevant links will be provided in the description so do check it out now you can find the installer right here itself download this particular file and install it on your system please note that we also have a website uh, describing the various step i will put the link to the website in the description do check it out all the relevant links are provided in the website also. Now I have downloaded the executable of MSYS2 64-bit version here and now I am going to install it by double clicking it. So it's a general Windows installation file. You can just do the next next thing and you can keep now you can either go with the standard installation directory or you can create your own. Now I will be creating my own. So I will be installing in this particular directory. Now we have finished the installation. Now if you go inside the folder, you can find all the binaries and the support file for the GCC. Now we are going to start the MSYS2 terminal. Now you can go, if you go to the start, you will see that the installation of the MSYS2 is complete right now. Now you can go to the start menu and scroll down, go near the M1. You can find the MSYS2 folder. From there you can start a shell. Now there are multiple shells. It's much better to start with the MSYS2 UCRT or the Universal C Runtime 64-bit. Double click it. Now it will open a small terminal window. A basic Linux shell will be opened. So you can check out the Linux command if you want to. For example, I can type help here and it will give the same output like the same output as in a Linux terminal showing the various commands that we can use right now. Now the important thing to remember is that GCC is not yet installed in the system. You have to install GCC using a package manager called pacman so if you check it gcc so we will be using pacman now now I will clear the screen now using the pacman package manager we can see 
what all packages are installed on this particular system. For that, we have to type pacman hyphen capital Q. Now to install GCC, we have to go we have to go to the MCS repo. Uh, from there, you have to uh, select the GCC which version you want, and then you have to install it. For that, we have to go to the repo. The repo is called as packages. Dot to dot org. Now you can use the search bar here to search for various packages. I have already searched for GCC, so you can. For example, let me show you. So here I am searching for SQLite 3. So these are the packages that we, we need we require. Now we don't need this right now. We'll be going for the GCC version. So just type GCC and press enter. Now we have a lot of other GCC. Just stick, stick with the normal one. Now we'll go back to the terminal. Now we will install GCC by typing pacman hyphen capital S GCC or name of the package which you want to install. If you want a different package, just uh, go to the repo, um, just copy the name from there and just type it there. To that, we have to press enter. Now give a Y. Now the installation is complete. We can check whether GCC is there by using the where is command. Now we'll compile a C file and check the GCC. Now if we go inside the installation directory, here it will be H GCC inside GCC. So these are the various folders. Now from here you can see something called as home. And inside the home you will see the name of the user. In my case it will be my name. So we will have a small Linux system like this inside this thing. But it will not have any, it will not depend upon any kernel or something like that. You can create file using the terminal. And all the files created will be inside this one. So if I make a directory here, let's say I'll make make directory C. Now we will have a directory created inside home ECC home Rahul C. Now you can put the C file inside this one. So I will go to my website. And I will have a make a simple C file, this one. I will rename it as main underscore C dot C. Now you can copy the, sorry. now you can paste the program that you have copied from my website onto this text file or C file. Save it. Now go to the terminal. CD. C. Yeah. Now you can see that main underscore C is here. Now we'll compile this particular file using GCC. For that you type GCC minus O main underscore C, which is the name of the executable which you will be creating. So the name of the source code, press enter. Now 
now dot slash now i'll show you that we have the executable as well as the c file right now now we will run this particular executable this one so for that you have to write dot slash main underscore c i think that is enough executable is not required so it will print out hello world next i'm going to create a c plus plus file here to show you how to compile using g plus plus so yeah g plus plus for that you have to create another file let's call it main underscore cpp dot cpp now you open it with notepad go to my website from there you can just copy this particular code which is a simple c++ file then you can compile it copy it paste it here save it Now we will be compiling this particular C++ file. Using G++, G++ which is the C++ compiler. So it will be G++ hyphen O main underscore CPP. I will press enter. Now, as you can see here, the executable is created and I'm going to run it. So, dot slash. So, this is complete right now. In this example, we will learn to compile a simple window using GCC and Win32 API. Now you can go to our website and you can find the source code for that particular application here. Now I won't be explaining much about the window. I will do that in the later video. Later video. So if you like this type of content, do subscribe. Now here we will be using the Win32 API called Create Window to generate a small window and then we will show the window like this and then we will generate a small message box using win32 api now here we will create a small file called as win dot c Now you can find the code from our website and copy the whole thing. The link for the website will be in the description. So do check it out. And if you like our content, do give a like. Now you can paste it here. Now we will compile this particular win file. Now the com compilation process is quite different because we have to link with the win32 API. So you can go to our website and copy this particular line. You can paste it by Now you can click. Now 
now it has created a small window and now we have something called a message box created here now if you close the message box the window will disappear this particular parameters tell the GCC that the code has to be compiled as a Win32 GUI application instead of a com uh, command line application while the minus L GDI32 is telling the compiler that we should be linking with the GDI32 libraries GDI32 contains all the Win32 API required for generating the graphical user interface so I believe you have a basic idea on how to compile a Win32 application using GCC Now let's open the windows command prompt that is separate from the terminal. So this is the windows command prompt. Now I will type gcc. Now you will not be able to access gcc here. If you press enter it will say that it is not recognized as a command because gcc is not added to the path of our system. So if you want to, if you want to use the gcc uh, from a separate command prompt or a different location other than the one provided by the um, MSYS2 you have to add the path to the GCC to the system path now you can go to the MSYS command this one and from here you can check where GCC is installed by using the various command so if you click it here it will say that gcc is installed on user bin gcc.exe so you will go to our installation directory here it is hgcc which so inside gcc you will find a folder called user and there you can find bin and then you can add this line to the path variable now to add the location of our GCC to our system path go to the search bar type path now this will come up edit the system environment variables open it from there you can click the environment variables and from here you can go to the system variables go down find path from there edit now new now copy this particular line the full path paste this thing okay Now just close this particular command window go here now just type GCC now it is showing no GCC file error no input file because I'm not giving it any particular file now we can access the GCC from here and you can see the version and other stuff so now the path now the Location is that location of GCC is added to the path. You can compile the source code from any place in the Windows system. Now, if you have enjoyed our video or found our video helpful, please do like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.